This is a small survey in four of the 10 villages uh, shown here. And one of the objectives of the survey was to examine the relationships between the yield of rice and the, uh, the other items that were, you know, the other variables that were measured. And um, so uh, we, we start um, the analysis uh, looking at the variety and the fertilizer effect. If we look at the yields related to the variety of rice, um, then uh, we can, I don't know if I've got it here. Um, one way to examine this is uh, through box plots. Um, and uh, we see here that the new improved variety has a much bigger yield than the old and a bigger yield than the trad. So there is a variety effect, uh, clearly. Uh, and um, we can also check on the fertilizer effect. For the fertilizer, we can see as well that uh, there seems clearly to be an effect of fertilizer, that um, you've got a, a considerably improved yield uh, when you apply fertilizer. Um, so perhaps that's finished. Um, but um, is it absolutely clear that the variety effect is actually due to variety? Um, could it be that some varieties um, are have had, only had fertilizer applied? And in this case, that's particularly relevant because the new improved variety that seems to be the best um, and very clear from the box plot, um, all the farmers applied fertilizer, um, quite a lot of fertilizer. Whereas for the traditional variety, they typically did not apply fertilizer. So it, there remains the question as to whether the variety effect is really variety or could be a fertilizer effect in disguise. Uh, now we can study this quite easily by looking at the variety and fertilizer effect together. And um, so when we do this, we can have a look not just at one line for the yields, um, but at three lines. And here we see that uh, we can see clearly that the new improved variety um, it is quite difficult to investigate because there were only four farmers who grew that. Uh, nevertheless, it seems pretty convincing that there is both a variety effect and a fertilizer effect. The, the variety effect is not a proxy for fertilizer. It is there in its own right. Uh, and um, so, uh, so that seems to solve this problem. There is a variety effect and a fertilizer effect. Um, now let's turn to the villages. Um, and when you do the analysis, you see um, not as clearly, but clearly a village effect. Um, we can see some villages have considerably higher yields Two of the villages have considerably higher yields um, than the other two. Um, and if you do a more formal analysis of variance, you find that is statistically significant. Um, so there is a, a village effect as well. Um, we would contend, however, that village by its nature is a proxy variable. Um, that there can't be magic about being in a village. So once we know that the village effect is real, then we need to think uh, why there is a village effect. Uh, and it's easy to think of four or five different reasons. Uh, perhaps the village effect is because there's an advisor in each village and some advisors are better than others. Uh, perhaps it's because the pattern of rainfall is different in the villages. Uh, perhaps it's because the uh, soil type, which often causes differences in yield, is different. Um, or perhaps it's that different villages um, are, uh, have a propensity to use, for one, some villages use more fertilizer or variety or particular varieties. So there are five reasons here. Um, how, and we would claim that village is always a proxy. There is no magic about being in one village rather than another village. Um, so let's examine these in turn. The, the rainfall patterns clearly could be a cause. Uh, the soil type could be a cause. Unfortunately, we haven't mentioned those in the survey. We did not measure anything on that. So if that is the cause, then 
we're, there's nothing much we can do about it. Uh, the advisor uh, could be a cause, um, but think carefully, the advisor must itself be a proxy variable. Namely, it's much more interesting then to study not the advisor being the cause, but what was the advice that was the cause. Um, was it that uh, some advisors recommended different spacing or different planting strategies? Um, those could cause differences in yields. But being an advisor um, itself is a proxy variable. Um, now let's consider those things we did measure in the survey. Is it possible that the village effect is because some villages, uh, the farmers used more fertilizer or different varieties? Um, and this is actually quite easy to study. We'll just have a look. We know that there's a variety effect and we know there's a fertilizer effect. So let's do an analysis and see, is there an effect of village after we've subtracted the variety and the fertilizer effect? Analysis of variance, there's absolutely no evidence of a village effect after we've taken out the variety and the fertilizer effects. So the variety and fertilizer effects have explained the village differences. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.